Hi. Now, in this video, what I want to do is show you how we can go about finding the square roots of complex numbers. And I've got two examples here. We've got to find the square root of minus 21 minus 20i. And in the second example, square root of 7 minus 24i. Now, I'll show you how to do the first one and then you could pause the video and maybe have a go at this second one and then come back and uh, I'll show you the solution. So let's start with this first one, square root of minus 21 minus 20i. Now to do questions like this, what we normally do is say, well, okay, let the square root of minus 21 minus 20i be something of the form a plus bi. So we've got a plus bi is equal to the square root of minus 21 minus 20i. But if we square both sides, we can say that this squared must equal minus 21 minus the 20i. Now what we're going to do now is square this bracket out and then compare the real and imaginary parts, create two simultaneous equations and solve for A and B. That's basically the method that we're going to follow. So you might find that uh, you might like to even pause the video at this stage and carry on with the work solution. But if we do expand this then, Let's see what we get. We therefore have a squared, if we square the first term, we get twice the product of the two terms, that's going to be plus 2abi. And then we square the last term, so that's going to be b squared, i squared. i squared though is going to be minus 1, so you're going to get minus b squared. And that's going to be equal to minus 21 minus 20i. Now that we've got that, we could go ahead and compare the real parts and the imaginary parts. I'm just going to write it though by grouping up together the real parts. We've got a squared minus b squared. You don't have to do this, but it just shows how I've split it up, okay, into the real and imaginary. And then we've got plus 2ab and then i, and that is equal to minus 21 then minus 20i. So clearly you can see that if we equate the real parts, let's just put a little subtitle in here, equate the real parts, we'll just have that as RE, okay? What we get is A squared minus B squared equals the real part over here, which is minus 21. Now you can't really do much with this, you can't solve it for A and B yet, because we need another equation, we've got two variables here. So I'll call this one. Now we need to build up our second equation and that's obviously got to come from equating the imaginary parts. So we'll just say equate the imaginary parts. And the imaginary parts are going to be the 2ab. We only need to take the coefficient there of that i value. So we've got 2ab and it equals the minus 20 here. So looking towards solving these simultaneous equations, I'm going to make A the subject, okay? You can make B the subject, it's up to you obviously, but I'm choosing A the subject because it's the first term positive there, okay? So if I divide both sides by the 2B, we're going to end up with A equals minus 10 over B. And we'll call that equation two. And what we're going to do now is substitute equation 2 into 1. So I'll just make a note there that sub 2 into 1. Okay, so what are we going to get if we do that? Well, subbing that in, we've got a squared, so that's going to be 100 over b squared, 100 over b squared, and then minus the b squared equals minus 21. And at this point, I would want to get rid of the fractional value there, the b squared, so I'm going to multiply through by b squared. And that's going to give me 100 minus b to the power 4 equals minus 21 b squared. And this equation now needs to be rearranged. Let's just draw a line down there. 
If we make it equal to zero by adding b to the power 4 and subtracting 100 from both sides, we therefore end up with b to the power 4 minus 21, okay, 21b squared minus 100 equals zero. And what we've got here is a quadratic in b squared. So hopefully we can factorize it. Yep, it does factorize. Okay, we have a couple of brackets here. It equals zero. We've got b squared and b squared. And then it'll be a minus 25 times a plus four. That will give us the minus 100. And we'll get minus 21b squared there when we expand this. Okay, so having got that far, we can say that each of these factors must equal zero. And so for the first factor, we would therefore have that b squared equals 25. b squared equals 25. And for the second factor, b squared plus 4 equals zero. So that will lead to b squared equaling minus 4. Well, quite clearly, if b squared equals 25 and we take the square root, b can equal plus or minus 5. Now, for b squared equals minus 4, if we were to square root both sides, b would be equal to plus or minus 2i. But remember, b has to be a real value, okay? So for this, there's going to be no solution. So just put that to the side there. No solution on that one. So we've got our value then for b, our real value. It's plus 5 or minus 5. So if we now substitute this value into equation 2, say, then we're going to get our corresponding values for a. So let's say when b equals 5, what we get is that a will equal minus 10 divided by 5, so that's going to give us minus 2. So a equals minus 2. And if we look at when b equals minus 5, what do we get for a then? Will it be minus 10 divided by minus 5, which is 2? So we have our square roots then. The square roots, we can say, of minus 21 minus 20i. Okay, what are they? Well, we said that they'll be of the form a plus bi. So they're going to be either minus 2 plus 5i. Okay, when we take this first answer up here. Or it can be 2 minus 5i. 2 minus 5i. And what we tend to do in situations like this is that we put these two answers together and we say that the square roots then are plus or minus. And you could see we could write it as 2 minus 5i. Okay, so that's the way that we go about uh, finding the square roots then of a complex number. So as I said earlier, you might like to pause the video now and have a go at trying to find the square roots then of 7 minus 24i. Just set it up in a similar way to this. a plus bi all squared equals 7 minus 24i. And then just work through a similar method. All right, so uh, just pause the video then and come back when ready and I'll show you the solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. And uh, hopefully your solution would look something like this. And you should find that the square roots of 7 minus 24i are plus or minus 4 minus 3i. So to save time, you can see that I've written this out beforehand. So you can see that find the square root of 7 minus 24i. I said that that square root was a plus bi, so a plus bi all squared equals 7 minus 24i. Square out the bracket, you're going to get first term squared is a squared, twice the product, that's 2abi, and then square the last term, that would be b squared i squared, which is going to be minus b squared, because i squared is minus 1. And that's equal to 7 minus 24i. 
Then I've grouped up the real parts and the imaginary parts. And then we equate the real and imaginary parts. So I get that a squared minus b squared for the real part is equal to 7. Call that equation 1. Equate the imaginary parts and you've got 2ab equals the minus 24. And again I've made a the subject just like I did in the previous question. So we get minus 24 over 2b which results in minus 12 over b. And I sub that back into equation 1. So if we square this for a squared you get 144 over b squared. Then minus the b squared equals 7. Multiply both sides by b squared to get rid of the fraction and you're left with 144 minus b to the power 4 equals 7b squared. Rearrange this equation, make it equal to 0 by adding b to the power 4 and subtracting 144. So you get this equation, a quartic equation, or you could consider it as a quadratic equation in b squared, which factorizes, and I've gone ahead and factorized it. Put each of these factors equal to 0, b squared plus 16 equals 0, which leads to b squared equals minus 16, and Clearly, there's no solution for that, no real solution. Remember, b has to be a real value. Or we've got b squared minus 9 equals 0, leading to b squared equals 9, so therefore b equals plus or minus 3. Sub these values, plus or minus 3, back into equation 2 to get your value of a. And you get corresponding values of minus 4 and 4. And so the square roots then of 7 minus 24i are going to be minus 4 plus 3i and 4 minus 3i. And so you can write that as plus or minus in brackets 4 minus 3i. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea anyway of how to go about then finding the square roots of complex numbers. Alright, so that brings us now to the end of this video.